<laughs> Out of work. Y'all better check how we living, nigga. Woo! Huh. Y'all better check how we... I'm out of work, man. Yeah, I'm on my way back. No. The drama that unfolds, of course, you always expect the more drama. It is what it is. This week just been... This whole month has been something I put myself through. I knew it was going to be like this anyway. You feel me? I just... I knew it. I'm like, I don't want no more easy. I want... I want to, you know, be dedicated to the cause. So, you know how that go, man. These are the things that you got to do sometimes to be great. I got to discipline myself in order to get to the next level. And I ain't where I'm supposed to be anyway. Feel me? So, there's a few things I got to take off. Oh, uh, there's a few things I got to do just to, you know, shape myself to build up my walls, you feel me? Real for real. Anyway, I was watching Dr. Boyce Watkins. Dr. Boyce Watkins on YouTube, and he was speaking of... He was speaking of a case. Let me see. Of Albert Wilson, you feel me? And he was very emotional about it. It was, it was a case that involved a black man whose name is Albert Wilson, who was involved, who was involved with a minor, a white girl who was 17 years old, but he met her in a club or at a bar. Um, she said that he raped her. He said he didn't rape her. According to the evidence, according to the evidence, but they didn't find none of his semen in her. But they did find a DNA on her chest. I don't know what that means. They said he said that he kissed her on the chest. And I, he was just emotional. Very emotional about the situation because you know he, he really felt that the guy was wrong wrongfully convicted, that the girl was lying on him. I mean she was only 17. No DNA evidence was found. But he was sentenced to 12 years in prison without the possibility of any parole. And first question that came to my mind, she was 17, how she got in the club? And I'm like, maybe the state allowed it. But then again, like, you can't drink until you after age 21, right? So it's like, you know, there's a lot of things that went wrong. He never had a criminal record. All these things was playing into mind. Then... As I was listening to him speak about it, I started thinking about my own situation. Feel me? I was, I've been in California for seven months now, and within five months, I was accused of speaking to somebody. It could have been the same situation with him. Of course, they found out that it was nothing. But then again, it could have been a situation where Somebody would have accused me of something like a rape, which I keep hearing about in my past, but I don't believe it because it's just impossible. But it has never came to the front. But I'm, th I'm thinking about the whole situation with what we have right here in this location in California where the girl accused me of speaking to her in the same manner. You feel me? That could have turned into a situation where there, there was no evidence of such but it could have it blew into a, a whole big proportion and everything else like that, you feel me? Like his situation, how people wrongfully accuse you. That shit is crazy, man. There was a situation when I used to be in Staples where a girl accused me of standing in her way. She said I was standing in her path and I didn't allow her to pass by. And this was in Staples. And at that time, my manager was a white guy and the girl was black, you feel me? I'm not even, this ain't got nothing to do with it. I'm just saying sometimes the accuser, accuser can be any color. And the girl was black, she said I stood in her way. And I'm like, what girl? Then they told me. I'm like, yeah, that's crazy. I'm like, for real, she's like, yeah. And they said, I cut into the policy. You can't do that, so we have to let you go. I'm like, oh, that's crazy. I've never heard of such a thing like that before. So, long story short, they had to let me go home. So, but when I went home, 
The manager called me back. The man, come on, man. You doing all that shit for what, my nigga? What is that? <laughs> anyway, look. The manager called me back and told me that yeah, you couldn't come back to work. We looked at the camera and it wasn't what she. It wasn't what she was. And they later found out that her boyfriend. Long story short, this girl used to come to. She used to work. Yo, yeah, she used to work overtime after overtime after overtime, and always came to work. And she. It seems like she didn't have no money. And I'm like, yo, you working all these hours? Somebody's cheating her on a check. Me being naive and everything else like that. I didn't know what was going on. So, like, when I went on lunch, I used to buy her lunch. And I used to give her money for food and everything else like that. And I was, this is just me. Just me being me. Like I do today. If I see somebody who need money and I have it on me, I give it to them. So, the boyfriend, I guess she must have told her boyfriend. She was working hard to give her money to her boyfriend. That's why she was coming to work the way she was coming to work. She was barely having any sleep. But yet she was working so hard and she still gave it away to him. And I never understood that. I'm like, yo, that don't even make sense. But I didn't find out until later on. So I used to just give her money. Like I, but she, It wasn't like I was expecting to sleep with her in any form of shit. This is just who I am. If I see something that's wrong and I'm like, yo, there's something going on right here. This is not, it's not right. Then I take it into my initiative. I'll be like, all right, if I have it, I'll give it to you. And that's that. And that's how I felt. So I gave it to her. Several times I give up money to, for food. And sometimes when I go on lunch, I'll be like, yo, what time you go on your lunch? All right, come on, let's go. And it was no nothing. I didn't want no sexual favors or anything else like that. I just did that because I'm like, yo. Because I seen one of my homegirls passed out due to some shit like that. So it always rests on my conscience to help people out just in case. You never know. That little thing that you could have done, you can save somebody's life or it can go a long way. So the boyfriend found out about that. Convince her. To go to the job and make a story up. And that's what happened. That's how I got into that whole okay. And that's how I got into that situation that I was in. And I was reported and everything else like that. And luckily, thank God we had a righteous man at that position. Who look, who thoroughly looked at the camera and everything else. And spoke to her. So we sat down and spoke to her and she cried. She said it was this a fucking abuser. She can't even escape the nigga because they live together and he's taking her check. And she, he was the one who forced her to do that because he was him. He didn't like the fact that I was giving his girl money because you take, I didn't even know that. So they actually called me back and it's like, we are sorry that I so they always seem to apologize. But I always seem to be at the end. It's like when you do good, man, be prepared for the consequences. If you speak the truth, be prepared for the consequences. It's crazy, man. That shit always happened to me. And luckily, somehow, some way, good always seems to prevail. The good always prevails. It seems to find itself out. You feel me? So that's one good thing about it. Another thing, the main reason why I even brought that up, because a lot of people will accuse you of things that you didn't do, bro. Like, if you're a good person like myself and others, hey, keep going. If you're a good person like myself and others, People just can't believe it. They have to find a flaw. They have to find something that... They'll be like, nah, he can't be that good. We have to find something. And when they can't find something, they'll pin something against you and be like, this is who he is. Because they just can't believe it. It's like, nah, this got to be a cap. It's an act. He's just acting. And it's like, when they can't find something, they make something up. And that's the same thing I went through here. The girl said I was so like for her to go to up another person and report me. That was just another way. That was just for them to just you know just to get me. Like it was like yo, like was it that serious? Like that you she went and go report me and she told the people that I spoke to her in a in a nasty way or uncomfortable way. And I'm like damn. You could have just told me like yo, I don't like the way you spoke to me. And if I did it again, then you could have went went and go report. But if I don't, I st up to this day, I still don't know who the person is. And they said that, oh, we, I'm like, damn. So when I was listening to Dr. Boyce Watkins, it took me back to my own situation. I'm like, this shit is scary because it's so true. Because if they don't get to the bottom of this shit and the person don't come out and say the truth, most of the time it's always a man behind that woman that's pushing her to do these things or trying to influence her to go ahead and do this. Because it's always a bitter man 
or somebody bitter. It could be another woman pushing these people, these people, making victims. And they they make they 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 make the victim look like the predator. You feel me? And that shit is sad, man. That shit is sad, my nigga. And it's so true. And I'm like, that's yo. I, I trust me, I've been there. That's the scariest thing ever, man. Like I'm always at the end of those kind of things. One time, too, I was at work and somebody accused me. It was all the way back when I used to work in Dwayne Reed, and somebody accused me of stealing. Bro, I ain't never stole nothing. I don't say I never stole nothing a day in my life, but I definitely did not steal nothing. I did not steal that item, and I was accused of stealing and shit like that. This hurt me bad, cause. I was so mad about the situation. Like, you know how you know you didn't do something and you're being accused and there's nothing you can do about it? And you've been like, it's crazy, my nigga. It's crazy. So I can understand what um, Andrew Wilson is feeling right now if he truly didn't do it. Because the evidence said he didn't do it. If it's rape, they got to at least find some form of semen. You feel me? They have to find something. You can't, nobody rape somebody and quickly put a condom on. Unless he came there with the condom, you never know. But a little bit of DNA is always left behind. You feel me? And it's kind of sad. My situation happens to be a black girl. His situation happens to be a a white girl. It's not about black or white. I'm just saying, you just, sometimes you just got to watch out for these accusers. Feel me? Like, that shit is crazy. That's why I'm very cautious about who I talk to and who I approach like that. When I approach people, I just give them... Like, hey, that's a nice jacket. Like, this is a nice company just to see how far it goes. Sometimes you can't even tell whether it's a nigga or a bitch. So even that cautious is alone. That's even stopping me from moving forward. Nowadays with the mask and everything else, these niggas is wilding. Surgery and everything else. Like, that shit is crazy. They got the booty and everything. I'm like, yo, get the fuck. You can't tell what is what with the mask on. That shit's scary as a motherfucker. Oh, shit, hold on. When I tell y'all niggas it's spooky out here, man, y'all think I'm joking. Like, I'm talking about spooky, spooky. Hold on. I'm talking about spooky out here. Like, these niggas, I, I don't know how they be hiring these people, yo. And they got a manager that manages these niggas. It's like a pimp at the job. He's, he's always in charge of these men with booties. Like, Always parading them around. He love that shit. Like, he, <laughs> that nigga is horrible. <laughs> he is gay, but I mean, come on, man. It's obvious that he's gay. But he loved that shit. He likes to just parade them around, use them for his own personal agendas. He has them on this side of the air and put them right here and put them right here and try to switch them in and out. I'm like, this nigga is gay, bro. And this, I'm telling you, we men, especially black men, we under attack, man. Especially myself. I can speak for myself. I know for a fact that I'm under attack. This morning alone proved everything I needed to know that I was under attack. They always playing against me, watching me, trying to see what stop. Like, it's crazy, man. This shit is out of control. And all I'm doing is being truthful in my existence. You feel me? If... If you watching me that much, I, the least you can do at least is, is at least find some dirt on me. Like find something that's flawed and give you the reason to the reason why you're doing what you're doing. You don't have a reason. Like, there is no reason at all. These people just do it just for hate purposes. It's like, yo, these niggas is corny, man. Like at least tell me what you find. There gotta be some form of founding. You feel me? There's no evidence of such. They ain't got no evidence, bro. No, no, no evidence whatsoever of the things that they're accusing me of. The things they have, that they accused me of in the past. Even if they have a new accuse, they can't accuse me of nothing right now because it's like, you've already tried what you needed to try. So now it's more like an insult. Now it's more like, let me get my hammer. You feel me? They start busting. Feel me? Because I know for a fact they're coming after me. You dig? That shit ain't fair, man. These niggas is lying, man. Everybody and their mama know they lying. Like, everybody know they lie. They know I'm being... I'm being wrong, wrongfully watched, wrongfully accused. 
they got all eyes on the kid and shit like that. They, they be praying that I was gay. Feel me? When I tell you I'm under attack, man, I'm under attack in so many ways. But listening to Dr. Boys Walking, I had to start listening to him. I, 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 it made me think about the situation I'm going through, too. You feel me? If so many people was not watching, look at these faggots. It's too gay, niggas. This is homo. How y'all both twins and y'all both gay? What the fuck? That's a waste. You feel me? You're going to have to fight me for that. Yeah, that's a waste. Like, these niggas, like, you t two homos. Like, what the fuck? Nigga, at least one can become gay. Another one, like, yeah, both? Come on. That's another sexual, sexual So We got to look at that. That's a case in itself. But, truth be told, man, these niggas be wishing that I'm gay, man. Like, they, they, it's like, it's as if, I always say this, <laughs> It's as if, if, it's as if they place their definition of what it means to be gay through me. So if I denounce that, that means that I'm denouncing them. And I'm like, yo, that ain't got nothing to do with me, man. That's on you. I'm not faking it. I'm not doing nothing like that. This is on you, my nigga. You made your decisions. I have my own decision to make. Like, they try me all the time, bro. There's so many trannies and gays, like, consistently. And they be hating on bitches who be wanting to look at me and shit like that. Cock blocking all the way. And I'm like, God damn. Y'all niggas got to give it up. Like, I am not interested in y'all. How can you be so persistent on wanting to get with somebody who's not interested at all? And they trying all kinds of tricks. It's like the trick... Galore. It's like a gal a gallery of tricks that they try. And of course they have the gay manager. When I say gay manager, I don't mean like he's gay and he's a manager, that too. I mean like he's in charge. It's like a whole organization that's going on. Like he's in charge of the whole gay movement in there. So he's moving these people around, you feel me? And every time I speak about these things, they feel trying to figure out ways to get rid of me. It's true, like, he's like the manager that's in control of the trannies and the gays and everything else like that, and they got a special floor for them every other day. I'm like, yo, why the fuck am I on this floor? Y'all niggas, like, leave me the fuck alone. I'm one nigga that cannot be turned. Because I'm, I'm already turned up. I'm that nigga, I don't need drugs. <laughs> for real, for real, y'all niggas must be stupid. You feel know I me? Mean? And I'm going to keep telling my truth because this shit is true, like, feel me? And the truth is, look, man, when they can't get me with the homo shit, they always got some bitch that they try to use to get me. And I'm like, yo, I'm keeping my hands so clean, y'all niggas ain't getting me, bro. They try to get me in New York with another bitch. That shit didn't work, you feel me? She couldn't, she ain't even have a case. She was mad because she broke up with me. How you mad because she broke up with me? I guess my reaction, that's what it was. So she was mad because she broke up with me as an individual. I'm like, all right, cool. Mom, we ain't fucking with each other. We're not, you feel me? I moved on occasionally. I have, we ha I happen to be, we start talking up again. It's like the on and off situation. But, it, but it's like, I'm hearing rumors and shit like that. Then I'm like, damn, that's crazy. I'm hearing rumors she's trying to take me down and everything else she trying to violate me. I'm hearing rumors that she's sleeping with this person and that person at the job. They ain't even hearing rumors she's sleeping with people around my way where I live at. And we talking about we living in two different places. And I'm like, God damn, girl. Like, you hate me that much? And nobody going to believe that shit. Even if she was to say anything in that form and try to accuse me of anything. I'm like, yeah, that shit is weak. But Dr. Boyz Watson, when he spoke about that boy's case... I'm like, yo, that shit is so true. Because some of these girls be mad at you. And they try to destroy your life, bro. Feel me? They might, shit, you could be sleeping. They will steal your semen. You feel me? Like, I, these bitches is crazy, man. I had to get away from these hoes. Feel me? It doesn't mean that I'm going to be gay. Hell no. I still stay with a crazy bitch. Fuck that, nigga. 
that's the life it's a life life feel me i don't care how i don't care how crazy these hoes are i'm still <laughs> I'm gonna still stay with a crazy bitch. These niggas be spending so much time at their job. They be fixing cars. You can tell that they've mastered the act, the act of it. Like the shit that they do here, like mechanics and all that stuff. People be bringing their cars. They be they be experimenting with all kinds of. Oh, well, let me see what time it is, cause my bus comes in um 30 minutes. Let me see. Word up, but you gotta be careful with these niggas. If it ain't, if it ain't a bitch, it's a nigga. If you hear anything about me, that shit is false. That shit just got me like very, very cautious because they already happened. I've been here for only six, seven months, and already I'm like, damn, that's crazy. Like, there's people out there who actually do these kind of things. I thought my shit was just a coincidence. And when I heard about that, I'm like, that's crazy. Like, you would lie on somebody just to fuck up their whole life like that? Like, that shit ain't mean crazy. That's too much for me, man. I can't even accept it in my mental. You feel me? I can't even accept it. I just I think about it and I'm like, that's crazy. Like some people just don't have no di dignity. They just out to destroy somebody's life because they just don't like the nigga. And their excuses, he talked too much. I just don't like his attitude. Feel me? Shit crazy. I even overheard a nigga telling somebody saying, Oh, this one is special. He's 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 special. I'm like, I'm special. He, just because I am not who you thought I would be, you telling somebody that I'm special. I'm like, no, I'm not special, nigga. I just know what I like, my nigga. I know what I'm not. I'm not going to force it because society defined it. Fuck, nigga. They be like, he's special. I'm like, special? Nah, I'm like, no, you just mad because I just, I, I, don't def I don't accept your definition of who I am. I know who I am already. I know what I like, my nigga. You got to get off my dick, my nigga. Like, Oops. Did I do that? You feel me? These niggas just be hating. <laughs> they be hating. They just mad, man. Feel me? They mad, man. That's what your bitch did. Your bitch said like that. <laughs> His bitch said like this. The niggas know that bitches love me, man. They know that, like, come on, who? Look at me, man. I mean, look at me. I think I'm a sexy motherfucker. Like I'm, only, I'm, I'm irresistible. Even with the lack of, I'm still irresistible. So it's like I know they gotta, they gotta form a collusion just to hate on me. It's only right, man. Feel me? Like I'm a sexy nigga, man. Shit, in, I'm a, I'm a dark skinned nigga. Like I'm the blackest nigga you ever gonna meet. I'm out here. I stick out like a, a sore thumb sometimes because there's so many, you know. Whites and Hispanics out here, but they both sexes like me, including my own. I said both sexes, that's homo. Both races, <laughs> both races like me, including my own race. So it's like, I have a lot of options. It was just that, you know, these niggas just can't accept the fact that they have to compete with me, so they gotta hate on me. They have to, they have no choice, man. Anybody that does something secretly behind, Anybody that does something secretly behind somebody's back, this is an indication that that person is afraid of the person. You feel me? That's why when people sell drugs and they see the cops coming, 
they be like, Squally! And they start running, or they be like, Cop, 5 -oh, 5 -oh, 12 12 you feel me? Because they, 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 they respect authority, or they're scared of the consequences of what they're doing. So anybody that hides stuff and do things behind your back are scared of the consequences. They're just afraid of you, and that's all. And it's okay. But they wouldn't admit to that, because that's a sign of weakness. So they, they what, guess what they're going to do? They'd be like, nah, we just don't want to hurt them. But every day they try to hurt you. They try to kick you and beat you and all that kind of stuff. You don't want to hurt me, but it's like, come on, man. Come on, man. Make it make, make it make sense. Make it make sense. You feel me? And that's just the truth. They'd be like, oh, we don't want to, we don't want to hurt them. Like, you feel me? But yet you trying to consistently take my head off. Like, you feel me? That shit is crazy. Yeah, that shit is crazy to me. Like, niggas gotta stop with the lies, bro. A lie, you lie, you lie. That's a lie. Feel me? It's just, like, yeah, the truth is the truth. The truth hurts, man. You just gotta call it for what it is. I know they got another point in today. Today was, today is the day where Well, the bus situation, I can already see these people probably will have another plan in. Because they had so much exposure. They will try to another one, and another one, and another one. It's like, yo, I don't care what y'all niggas do, man. Just get it all out the way now. Because you're not going to stress me enough to do anything stupid. I'm not going to put my hands on you. You're not going to deviate me, my nigga. I already peeped. Once you peeped the game... You gonna have to wait just to get my mind off it, just to catch me off guard again. It didn't work. You feel me? They're just some haters. Just a lot of hate, man. Anybody that plans something in advance, you feel me? That means you respect your competition. It's just like playing a game. You have a game plan. If the team was that whack, you wouldn't have a game plan. You'd be like, I just go out there and play. We got him. But the fact that they're planning something in advance tells you how much respect they got for me. And that's just the truth. Like, I think I ain't got to lie about this shit. Feel me? It just makes sense when you look at it from the point of view where you need to look at it from. Don't see it as, oh, I don't know how they see it, honestly. Because my, men my mentality is too high for me to think on that stupid level. It it it's baffling. I mean, like, that shit hurts my mind to think about it. I'm like, I can't think that stupid, nigga. That shit hurts me. I gotta degrade myself into a low vibrational thought. I'm like, God damn. People be like, I thought you were supreme, Jeff. No, no, no. I don't have that ability. <laughs> I had to tap into the Vicky spirit. I just don't have that ability to think that low. I'm on a budget budget. I'm gonna see what these niggas got for me. This is going to be the first time in a long time. Let me see how much money they ain't take from me yet. They stole my money, by the way. Shout out to Domino's. Domino's, the workers. I ordered Domino's on a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But I used two different cars. They charged me on two different cars for four different orders. And I only ordered three times. One each day. And guess what they did? They took more money than they were supposed to. Because they charged me the same amount of money on each day, or, or the same amount of money, the highest amount of money that they can charge me. Pee, 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 pee. I know I didn't do it like that because most of those, days, the prices, I intentionally ordered them and it was three different prices because I was checking it out to see where I was going wrong in there. So I know these niggas be stealing from me. It's fucking dirty. So guess what, they've been canceled. I know I put this place on a timeout. But I realized yesterday that my supplies that ran in Lolo. Not Lolo, there was nothing in the uh, crib. Feel me? Go grab me some bullshit. It's not gonna be much because my buddy Lolo. That's alright. I can grab something for today. You know? I am bad to the bone. Fuck them niggas. You gotta be bad because these niggas are constantly on your dick.
detergent. I don't need no detergent. I guess they was already expecting me. I feel uncomfortable now. You know what? I really do. <laughs> I when niggas expect you. It is a lot. Alright, fuck. I need it, so. Beep. Yeah, I'm gonna holler at y'all later, because I need time.